solving a three-variable system of equation using substitution. The two main methods to solve a three-variable system are substitution and elimination. In this video, I will be doing the substitution method. The general idea is that you pick a variable to isolate in one of your equations, typically a variable with a coefficient of 1. You then substitute the expression on the other side into the other two equations, leaving you with a two-equation, two-variable system that you can solve using any method you'd like. After you've found the first two variables, you will substitute your values back into one of these three original equations to find the value of the third. Let's get started. I'm going to choose to isolate the x in the first equation, but remember, it does not matter which variable you choose to isolate in any of the three equations as long as you follow the same process. When I isolate x in the first equation, I get x equals negative 2y plus 2z plus 1. I now need to take this expression and substitute it in for x in my other two equations that I haven't used yet. Notice that I made sure that I kept my entire same equation for each of the other two equations, but I've, instead of writing x, I've written the entire expression that I know that x is equivalent to. You will now want to simplify each of these equations down and then solve the system using either substitution or elimination. In this first equation, I distributed the two to each of these three terms, combined my like terms, and moved my constants all to the right. I did a similar process here. So my new system is negative 3y plus 7z equals 5, and 4y minus z equals 10. It doesn't matter what variables you have, when you write your solution, you're going to write them alphabetically. Since we have a three-variable system, we know that our solution is going to be a point x, y, z. I need to solve this system right here just like I normally would using either substitution or elimination. Personally, I like elimination, so I'm going to copy the first equation down and I'm going to create an additive inverse by multiplying the second equation by 7 all the way across, giving me 28y minus 7z equals 70. I did this in order to create an additive inverse for my z's. Now I have 25y equals 75, so y must equal 3. Since this is x, y, z, I can fill in the 3 in the middle slot. I then need to take this y equals 3 and put it into one of these two equations, really into any equation that only has a y and a z. I chose to substitute my y value of 3 into this first equation here. So it's negative 3 times y plus 7z equals 5. And when I solve that, I get z equals 2. Now that I have found y and z, I have to go back to one of my original three equations. All three of these are going to work, and I need to solve for x. I copied down the first equation, x plus 2y minus 2z equals 1, and I and I filled in my y and my z values. Then I solved and I got that x equals negative 1. This means that my full solution is negative 1, 3, 2. I can check this by substituting it into all three equations above. It's very easy to make a calculation error somewhere, so you always want to check in all three equations. We have just found the point that these three two-dimensional planes intersect, unlike a two-variable system where it is where two lines intersect. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful.